fumbled. They didn't go where I wanted. Um, but we will have a look at that. We're also going to have a look at this raid here, which is an all-max raid spell. Uh, but it was a pretty funny uh, raid, actually. I'll speed it up. I just wanted to show it quickly. So you can see with this one here, it's a you know it's a good level base. It's not too bad. Uh, maybe a, a tad rushed, but not not too too bad anyway. Uh, so I spawned in my giants. I can speed this up. Spawned in my golem in the center there. Spawned in my wizards. Some more giants come in and they work well as a meat shield. And what I thought here was I would break straight through and I would just have to break down those three walls uh, to get into the center there and get the town hall. That was definitely not the case, as you will probably see now. We've started pushing around the left. So I was like, okay, then we'll go around and we keep on going around. And we just run the whole way around the outside for some reason. I have no idea why they do this. So as soon as they get out of the touch of the Inferno, I heal them up there. Uh, they keep on going around. They go even further outside, take out all the outside troops, break into the next compartment. Uh, then they go in again. This Inferno here is hitting hard at the Golems and the Peckers there. Uh, but as you'll notice, that runs out very, very soon. I throw in another heal spell uh, just so that the King can start getting healed up and some of the other stuff that are outside the Inferno's reach. Uh, we've got some golems now breaking into the center. That inferno has run out of health. Uh, we've, we're now going all the way around the outside yet again. We've got a couple of peckers remaining. Still going around. This inferno has now been taken out and that has no health. Uh, sorry, no damage or no ammo left. Uh, this expo is also firing hard. The skeletons worked amazingly as a defense on this one. They worked so, so well. But we still were going around. We left this one with three seconds remaining, uh, which is crazy, crazy close. And I didn't think we were going to get the town hall. But we were able to drop the town hall, go around, and get to the center. So we literally went all the way around the base and then went into the middle. Uh, I have no idea why the troops did that, but I was so happy we actually got the three star from that. Uh, I thought we were definitely not going to get it, but we did. Anyway... On to the main thing in today's video, using five max rage spells. Uh, in this one, I actually only dropped four because I didn't really need to double up on them. So, I attacked this one, first of all, because of that gold. The gold was super sexy. And also, the fact that you only had to break down two walls to get in the center was pretty enticing. So, I throw down three golems, um, all in the middle there. Followed up by some wizards to take out the uh, remaining buildings. And what I love about this base for the Go Wipe is that you are pretty much guaranteed your troops to go into the center. Or at least get very central. The reason for this is he has no buildings except for these on the outside. So my, my peckers, for example, aren't going to run around the base. They're going to go straight in and get into the first wall. And then they're very likely to stay in the middle, which is what happened. So the golems, all of them pushed to the right-hand side, which isn't a problem. I'd have further them to split up, but that's not what they did. I dropped down my first rage spell to rage up the golems and rage up the wizards that were getting hit by the infernos. They get dropped. I throw in my peckers. The peckers go straight for that gold storage in the center as well, which is really super handy. Uh, that inferno tower already ran out, which is nice as well for us. And we were able to run straight past it and get into the center here where we start taking on the town hall. And the peckers drop the town hall like that. Super, super quick. Uh, and you can see also, also we've already taken 100,000 worth of gold. The golems are working well as a distraction. We've taken out the center, the core of its base. We're pushing for that 50%. That Inferno Tower is doing a lot of damage, but that gets dropped as well. The queen goes for that gold storage, and we're putting up to 240,000 gold. There's one more there in the middle that I really wanted to get, but sadly they didn't push in enough to go and get it. Uh, I actually wanted the queen to kind of move across and take it out, but she didn't do that, sadly. Uh, the Golemites here are all standing proud, working as a great defense, uh, but we were able to get the 50%. I raised them up just in case to see if they will go forward, but they didn't. And then the queen goes around the outside. She drops as well, but we are able to run away with a lovely two-star. Uh, but the best thing about that was the 250k gold, sorry, sorry 241k gold, and the 177,000 uh, elixir, which is pretty damn strong. Alright, so we're going to go and find another uh, base now to go and attack. And this time, we're going to make sure to drop all of our rage spells. Hopefully, uh, in this one as well, we can get a three-star. Not sure about that, but hopefully we can do something at least. We at least get a two-star. That's what we're after. So, what we want to find is... Oh, see, this base is so teasing. The way that that is like really open straight into the center. I want to take it down, but I don't know if I'll be able to. Um, I'm going to go for it. I don't usually go for bases like this that I'm like, oh, that looks nervous to me. Uh, but we're going to go for this one, guys, because we are doing it uh, in a video. So I was like, you know what? This could be a, a massive, utter fail. And if it is, I I, I fail. Yeah, that's, that's just what's going to happen. It might do that. Right, so that's already taken down. Uh, I'm going to throw those in. So we're going to throw our wizards in around the outside. We're going to throw two rage spells uh, like that and like that. The king's going in. The queen's going in. 
The Peckers are pushing in, and I'm just going to literally raise this up in the center uh, as much as I can. I'm going to drop down two more Rage Spells there and there. They're going to take out that Dark Elixir, which is very, very nice for us. I'm going to Rage up my King straight away because he's going to need some help. Are we going to be able to drop that Town Hall? I don't know. This is going to be really close. This is going to be super, super close. Uh, the Golems are still pushing forward. He's got a load of troops coming. You know what? Let's throw in our Wall Breakers. YOLO. <laughs> uh, and we are not taking down the Town Hall. No! Our queen has died! This is why I don't usually attack these kind of bases, because I never seem to do well on them, because they do always destroy me, and that is exactly what's happened today. Uh, but we were able to throw all our rage spells in, and we lost. That's why I don't go for those kind of bases, but it was pretty good fun. Uh, sometimes you've got to fail, and that is what we have done just now. So I hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. If you did, please do leave a like down below uh, and comment on what you use as your spell uh, in your spell factory, in your spell lineup. Do you ever use five rage spells or not? Um, please do share some lovely messages because I feel really bad now that I've just lost that uh, when we really should have won it. There was only one wall we broke in, but that is why that base is designed like that. It is very powerful. Uh, but I thought I'd give it a go for the video because it's pretty good fun. Uh, and we all fail sometimes. So until the next episode, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.